If you've ever wondered how to get started with painting from a photo and choosing the right photo, this is for you. So what you want to do is ask yourself when you're choosing a photo, what do you love? You know, what are you going to want to look at? Because if you paint it and you do a really good job painting and then you hang it on your wall and you go, oh, well, that's not so fun to look at. That's not going to be great. Um, also, what colors do you want to use? One time I wanted to paint this really beautiful sweet pea and I realized that I didn't have the right magenta color and I had to drive all the way to town to go get some. So that wasn't as much fun. Uh, and there's some basics on photos. You can say, you know, is this in focus? Is it too much to paint? Maybe it's just incredibly detailed or um, there's a texture that you feel is going to be really daunting because it's beyond your current ability. Um, and is it going to look good in the size that you have? So if you're doing um, kind of something like 18 by 24 or smaller, any, any photo is going to look, look good at that size. Um, but if you get too small, you know, you're going to lose the ability to put in the detail. So just some things like that. Okay, so here's some samples because we are visual creatures and we like to, to be able to um, look to learn. So one thing that I notice on this uh, photograph, if we decided, hey, let's paint an, uh, something with, with you know, the ocean. Uh, this is a picture of my daughter. I took this a few years ago and I thought it was a really cool photograph when I took it. I liked the little bubbles leading to her and that was really fun. But unfortunately, right as I snapped it, she did this weird thing with her hand. She's kind of holding her pants up out of the water. It looks pretty awkward, this whole, you know, elbow thing going on here. Um, and I'm not the best at painting figures. So I, I don't want to have to change the way the figure looks and change the shadow. Another thing is check out this super intense highlight right here. This is a result of the camera's decisions. Also, we have things that are overexposed. That means that the camera did not get all of the detail recorded. Um, so you're painting, you're not gonna have that detail to refer back to to make sure it looks good. All right, so here are two similar scenes uh, also of the coast. This one here at the beach, this is a real cold, wintry day. If I paint this, I'm going to feel cold and wintry every time I look at it. And if that's not what I'm going for, you know, you got to be careful because if you're aiming to paint a photograph and you do really, really, really well, you might get what you started with the photograph, right? <laughs> and so if you're looking at the photograph and you're thinking, oh, I think I'm going to have to brighten it up and do a lot of changes, um, you might want to start with, a, with another photograph. So um, even in the highlights, you know, here we have the highlight of the sky and of the waves. This is not real white. This is this is pretty dark. Over here on the right, we have this beautiful Oregon coast day. It's sunny, although the fog is about to roll right in because it's, you know, it's Oregon coast. Um, interesting photograph as far as, you know, we got these really cool rocks going on here, all kinds of fun stuff. But look, half of this is grass. Now, if you have decided that you want to paint the ocean, maybe half grass is not what you're looking for. Um, that's a lot of grass to paint. That's a lot of canvas to take up um, away from your main deal. So maybe you want to do a similar scene from a different perspective. So here we've walked down the hill. This is just kind of around the bend actually from that other spot. Um, and this might be a more appropriate photo to paint from. So we got a few things that are going on here. One, this bright white here leads us in with it's a leading line. So a white is a way of um, attracting the eye and lines in the artwork lead your eye around. So you got to think, where am I going to? Am I getting stuck in this photograph? Am I moving around? And then we have this line that comes in of the hill and it comes down just like that, right? And so this kind of brings us all into the middle. Maybe this is too middle. Maybe we might crop it like mm, right about there and just get rid of this right here, right? So there's different um, options, but this might be a really good way to start. Another thing you might wanna do is you might crop it right here and get rid of this part. That'll put this horizon line right here on the rule of thirds. So 
composition rule and to keep something interesting, you can move a horizon line uh, up to like one third down or one third up from the, the bottom or the top, and it's just gonna naturally be a little bit more interesting. Remember all the rules you can break, but if you're looking for a so stronger composition, just look up some simple composition rules to help you. This photo is also fun because we can do a lot to um, this photo as far as what are we gonna include. So there's some people over here we could include or not include. They're right there. Um, we could take away some rocks pretty easily. You know, just put sand where there was rocks. We could, uh, you know, you know, all the different kinds of things. We have nice range of colors. We got some pretty browns, some blues of the sky um, reflected in the water here and up here. We've got this, you know, greens and yellows that we can do of the of the hillside. So lots lots of different thing, fun things to play with. So of the photos that we reviewed today, this would be my pick. I am Kristen O'Neill, and this has been part of a class I'm putting together. I would love it if you could please leave your comments about what questions that this might have raised for you that I could help answer, um, any concerns that you have, any um, thing that you, you want to know about. So this is all helping me build a better class to teach you and other students, and so um, let me know what you want. Uh, just go ahead and put those comments and questions in down below. And if you have not already, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support and uh, look forward to helping you in the future.